Hi, this is Daniel Nugent, painter and decorator, and I got sent this through the post from a company um, just to trial out. So these are the Arrowworthy Classic range. So you've got the classic nine inch sleeve here. Um, I mean, these are good anyway. I've not tried the classic, but I'll always use Arrowworthy. But the good thing about these now is the, uh, the top bit now you can use on any kind of... Um, rad roller handle because before you had to buy their quick release handles which never really worked i mean you put that they had a special mechanism that you pulled and it, it was meant to come off easy but it never worked so basically um they've changed the design now to fit any handle so we've got different ranges here so i mean i'm going to try all this out and uh, also there's a classic brush as well um synthetic yeah angle brush long handle so yeah it'd be worth a try and we'll see how we get on with it right yes yeah, so here we have the arrowworthy classic brush so i've got sent an inch and a half one um comfortable to hold so it's got an oval stock which it's good it holds more paint the bristles stay together and as you can see it cuts a pretty straight knot line um holds quite a lot of paint look at that it just glides so it's really good to use nice and comfortable yeah i mean that holds quite a bit of paint for an inch and a half but um i'd probably start on a, a two inch or maybe a two and a half but yeah i'm quite impressed with that so that's the arrowworthy classic brush Right, so this is the Arrowworthy Classic Microfiber Roller, it's a 9 inch and this is the medium pile which is 6mm net. So I would say, um, yeah you use it on like sort of smooth surfaces, I mean this, this is all new plaster so um, yeah, so I just want to show you, this is over a Purdy cage, the older old school Purdy cage, slightly tiny bit loose after a while it starts to come loose a little bit but it, it's great because um once you've washed it out after a few times you want to put a new one on they'll slide off quite well i've broken a few cages before trying to get off old sleeves that are just tight as anything they're not coming off so um yeah but as you can see the results it holds a lot of paint it doesn't spray um yeah i mean just try and do is holding the camera but so puts it on nice and thick it just feels like a giant rad roller it's nice so yeah i would say um these are my go-to sleeves anyway but this classic range there's no there's no different to the uh ones i was buying anyway so i would uh yeah I'm, I'm definitely, these are my go-to roller sleeves, definitely. I'll, I'll probably mainly use a thicker nap for the ceilings, but a medium pile, that's fine for walls. Or any rough walls, use the, obviously use the longer pile. But um, yeah, definitely. So I'm, I'm pleased with the brush, pleased with the roller sleeve as well. Right, so now we're on to the rad rollers. Um, I've took a short one out, and as you can see, it fits onto any kind of cage now it never used to they used to have the, a bigger sort of the inside bit was a lot bigger and they used to have the quick release sort of thing which didn't work so these are better now and so this is mdf here this is otex aqua this is like an, a water-based etch primer mixed to the color we want so um it's going to try this on here and with with primer basically I'll, with MDF, sorry, I'll leave it in a, a roll of finish because there's no point in trying to lay this off. It's drying as I'm putting it on. But um, yeah, it's so far it feels really nice. Um, it's, it's got a nice sort of sprayed. It looks like a real fine spray finish. Um, hmm, yeah, I quite like it so far. It reminds me of the red, your two fussy bloke roller sleeves, the red ones. Yeah, it reminds me of that. So these, this would be good for like, if you want to hand paint a kitchen or something, you know, kitchen covered units and stuff, you know. Um, and then just sort of like lay it off. 
Oh, uh, that's it. There we go. Yeah, spot on. Look at the coverage as well. Yeah, so that's the short pole. I'd probably recommend this more for your woodwork. Um, medium, possibly. Medium pole on certain things. Um, and then the long pole, I would say, use that for any like walls and stuff. But you can use it in... Uh, you can use it in oil and solvent, all of them, which is good. So oil and solvent, all three, yeah, all three of them, which is good. So you can even use it on your eggshells, satinwoods and glosses for like your white trim if you're going in solvent. So I'm using it in water base, but that, that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. It still feels, it's still got a nice, it feels like it's quite a bit of paint on there still in the roller sleeve itself. So, um, yeah, I quite like it. And so I would say these would be definitely my go-to rad roller sleeves. Um, yeah, probably have a range of packets and then uh, choose which ones you want, really, for different surfaces, you know. Um, yeah, all right, thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to use all of what I've just shown you, the brush, the 9-inch roller, and these rad rollers as well. I think they're going to be my go-to kit now, definitely. All right, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.